Hey guys, DB Right here, and today we are doing a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers What If. What if Richie worked for Lord Zed? Which I always felt was kind of a shame we only got this character for 12 episodes, and considering he was brought in as a potential love interest for Trini before she left the show, I don't know, I just felt it sort of seemed like a waste. So, with that, we get to find, we get to have a, a bit more of a story with this character. And so, our story begins with Zed hatching his latest plan to steal Green Ranger's powers. However, he still needs someone to give the powers to. And this version of Zed is not interested in trying to get that traitor Tommy Oliver to rejoin him. No. Since he um, is well aware that the Rangers have been in and out of um, Reader's Dimension and also his own, it's not hard for him to get DNA and um, leftover energies floating around these dimensions in order to create his own dark evil being, which is Richie. And immediately he is sent to work. And just like in the original story, he's befriending the rangers, being nice, um, all of that. However, this time, he's actually more or less luring the rangers into battle, and which of course ultimately forces Tommy to use up his powers as they battle through the countless putty patrols and the monsters. Like... The putties make it look like they're attacking Richie, which makes the rangers interfere and whatnot, or um, he, he'll tell them something else, like, oh, there's a monster down the park, or anything like that, anything he can do to manipulate the rangers into battle and force Tommy to use up his powers. And this plan is going off without a hitch, and Lord Zed is absorbing every last drop of Green Ranger's powers, until one day, we now get to the point where to Tommy is going to lose his powers any day now, and the a um, future version of Tommy appears before him with a warning for him to have his um, communicator on him, because he's um. He's trapped in Umzed's dimension and has no, doesn't have his powers anymore. And so, pretty much with that, that whole trap begins to go like it does, or it does per normal. But the thing is, Zed is not trying to be overly ambitious. He isn't trying to steal the other Rangers' um, powers at this point either, or cancelling them out. It's all about getting, getting his own Ranger on the board, as it were. And as um, Green Ranger is actually captured and brought to the Zed Dimension, battling it out with one of Zed's monsters and finally losing his power, Zed immediately transport, transfers the power to Richie, transforming him into the Zed Ranger. But basically, in morphing form, the um, suit design is exact, exactly the same as Green Ranger's, but we got um, a purple suit and a red shield that he wears over his shoulder instead. And um, obviously, Dragon Zord's a different color scheme as well. And with Zed adding adding um, additional powers, some of his own additional power, we've got an evil ranger that theoretically should be stronger than what Green Ranger ever was. In fact, this guy can even summon um, Lord Zed's staff to help him battle. You know, and as we know, only very few of Zed's minions can do that. Lord Zed, of course, uses the stuff, and we've seen we've seen Goldar use it as well. 
But since he's the Zed Ranger, it would make sense that he'd have the power to summon Lord Zed's stuff whenever he wants to as well. And so, with, um, the monster, with, um, the monster that was battling with Tommy now distracting the rangers up in Angel Grove, and, um, Golda himself being told to return to Lord Zed, Tommy Oliver is actually surprised to see Richie before him. What are you doing here? Get, get away from him! That's Golda, he's, he's dangerous! <laughs> dangerous? <laughs> Not half as dangerous as I am, Tommy. And... Tommy begins putting two, two, two together as Richie busts out a morpher and yells, Zed Dragon! And for the first time ever, Green Tommy Oliver is witnessed to the Zed Ranger. And immediately... It is an all-out fight between a powerless Tommy Oliver and Zed Ranger. And, well, needless to say, Tommy is getting his butt whooped. His martial arts and karate are keeping him alive, but against the power he once had, it's, it's not looking too good. For um, Richie is... In a way, using it better than he did. Forming... Well, I can't say green anymore because he's not green, he's purple. Forming purple energy attacks from the Dragon Zord Dagger. Now the Zed Dragon Dagger. Causing explosions around Tommy. And then him summoning up Zed's staff and electrocuting Tommy. It's not looking too good. Tommy is getting... Weakened. In fact, Tommy had to resort throwing sand in um in Zed Ranger's visor to be able to make a quick getaway. And um, basically, this is where he um, gets the time to um, send that um, message to his um, past self, like the future self he saw before did. Because yes. Goldar's not there, and he carelessly left the, um, that time device lying around. So, as the, the past Tommy gives future Tommy his, um, communicator, he's able to teleport away just before Zed Ranger could get in the fatal killing blow. And, well, uh, hey... Lord Zed, at least it wasn't Zed Ranger's fault that did it. This is all Goldar's fault. Oh, Goldar, you nitwit! You left that time device behind! Zed Ranger had him! And, well, with that, Tommy is, um, reunited with the others, and he has to break the bad news that, th that Lord Zed has a new ranger, a ranger that he calls the Zed Ranger, and that it's Richie. So Lord Zed must be manipulating his mind like Rita did to you. I'm afraid not. He's been playing us from the beginning. And they can't believe this because they trusted this guy. He was their friend. Tr Trini really li liked him. And because of that very, those feelings, Trini just can't believe and accept that Richie is a bad dude. Hmm. Not to worry, Zed Ranger. You will have another opportunity at the Power Rangers soon. <laughs> Thank you, my Emperor. I will not fail you next time. <laughs> and that is where we're going to be leaving things for right now. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this part of the story? How 
Well, if he's going to go for the good guys, and I think they do, we get another evil ranger. I mean, back when Tommy was a bad guy, this was bad enough. But this guy not only has Green Ranger powers, but he's been... He shares energy with Lord Zed. And, um, well... So far, we've only seen the tip of the iceberg of Dead Ranger's abilities, which are saving for the next installment. So, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.